So we have our class, which is measuring the distances in meters. And this is the distance in meters. We convert this. If you look at the functions available in the class, there's a method called convert length measurement. Let's click on this. And the documentation says, takes the length measurement calculated by this object and converts it to a different distance unit. That means whatever object distance this class has measured in whatever unit, you can now convert it to a different unit. And that's what we need. Let's run this. So we can say this again, first argument itself. So we need to call this on our object. What is the object of this class? D. So it's a D dot convert length measurement. The first parameter itself, so we already called it. Second is the length. Length is whatever the length that was computed by this class. So that's a distance. So that's done. The third parameter is what unit you want to convert. Now that unit says, oh, you can't, it's not a string. It's variable under this class. So let's just click on this. And it brings us to this class called QGIS, capital Q with GIS. This has got a class called distance unit. And there are different distance units that are available here. And these are the different, different units that QGS understands. And I can use any of this to convert this. So let's say I want to convert this to miles. How do I specify to QGS that I want to convert miles? We say it's a class QGS dot distance unit. And now I have a class variable called distance miles. I can use this. So my unit can be measured is distance unit, this is the class. And remember, this is just a class and this is a class variable. We don't need to create an object, it's just a constant that is available. And this is a special class called QGS, which contains all the constants used by QGS throughout the program. And one of the constants is this thing called distance miles. So now we'll say we've convert, we printed the distance, which was in meters. Now we converted this to miles and I'll just save it into variable called distance miles. Let me print that. And now you can see this was the distance in meters and this is the distance in miles, 2575.86 miles. And again, I didn't need to do the conversion myself. I just used the QGS API method to be able to do this. So try this out from your section 4.2. You can take this code, try converting into a different unit. Here the example shows both kilometers and miles and you can try any other different unit that you like from this class. So, and you can print the result and see if it works. And again, you can see some notes here. This particular code was changed in QGIS 3.30. That means if you try to run this code in an older version of QGIS, it'll give an error because the API function was changed. And that's the reason we are targeting 3.34. If you were running this on 3.28, we'll get an error. So that's why, again, you should always make sure you're writing your code for a specific LTR version and make sure your users upgrade to the latest version so that all they, they don't have this API changes. In the previous one, we had done this kilometers by dividing by thousand, but we don't need to do this manually. You can just say, I will use the conversion to distance kilometers and you'll be able to do this. And you can see this just divides it by thousand. That's a conversion factor and QGIS knows how to do this.